If you're a little bit squeamish, look away now. So, yeah, maybe I've got bad news, good news, but, um, yeah, the la last year's been a bad year anyway, to be honest. So, about a year ago, one of my best friends, Steve, um, got diagnosed with colon cancer. Um, it all took us by surprise because he's super fit, super healthy, um, hikes, bikes, skis, everything. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a shock. Over the years, we've done like Amsterdam, Vegas, Stadus, Lisbon, skiing trips, bike trips, um, Glastonbury a couple of times together. Um, and he really is one of like life's best friends, um, that, that I've had over the years. Um, he's a fantastic guy. Um, so yeah. And every time I saw him last year, he was in such good condition, uh, Weirdly, so like, uh, I'd go around his house, he'd show me his gadgets, he'd be playing with his kids. And uh, yeah, every time I left uh, seeing him, I'd always be like, wow, he seems so good right now. I'm really happy about that. And clearly, like the Royal Marsden were doing a very amazing job for him um, with all the work that they gave him. But unfortunately, at Christmas time, uh, he lost his battle. Um, and that was pretty horrible. Come on, mate, let's go for a walk. Anyway, what seems like straight after that, I uh, I was booked in for like an ultrasound because I found a lump on my testicles. And uh, I went in for the ultrasound and, uh, and yeah, the... The doctor called me straight back afterwards after I'd left the hospital. Um, so I was a bit like, oh my God, what's going on? A bit paranoid, you know? I guess that's not a good thing to be called straight back in. The doctor said, I'm positive you've got testicular cancer, but I'm 100%, well, 99% sure you're going to be totally fine. Um, and I've booked you in for your operation on the 25th of January. Um, so I was like, Oh my God, like, what's going on? Uh, it all felt a bit surreal and it was a, a pretty horrible moment, if I'm being totally honest. Anyway, yeah, so after doing lots of research, it sounds very curable um, and that everything should all be okay. Um, and like I said, when the doctor told me, he said, I'm positive, 99% sure that um, everything is going to be fine for you and you're going to be all good. So everything I've looked at online has been great. Um, and I've actually had my operation now that was just over a week ago. Um, and straight after the operation, the, uh, the doctor said to me, um, it's gone very well. He believes he's got all of it out. Um, it just needs to go off for a biopsy. Now, before, um, the first time I, I had seen him, uh, and they did the ultrasound, he said there's a small chance it might be benign. Um, but it's, it, he didn't really sound like that's even going to happen at all. Anyway, since the, um, what was it? Since the operation, not been on my bike at all. I've been struggling to walk and I'm seriously bruised down there. Um, but it's still dirty from the last time I rode it. Um, which isn't good. Poor Julia. Um, so yeah, she needs a good clean and that's going to be something for me to do today. Um, and also I've got my CT scan today, um, which will check out. Uh, if it's still in my body, if it's spread anywhere, uh, which fingers crossed it hasn't, um, and that I show all good signs of it being removed. Nice new gold chain. So, 
I'm feeling a little bit better. And my old chain. So that's what happens when you don't clean your chain or clean your bike. Um, so I've wasted like a chain there and they're like 60 quid. So I am, I've got a new one. I'm going to fit that today. I'm going to try. There she is. She's not been ridding in about two weeks. So I'm going to try and ride her today, see how I get on. Uh, last week I had my CT scan, a weird feeling, because um, they put the solution in you, you go into the CT scan, like the scanner thing, it warms up your body from the inside, felt like I was in a microwave getting burnt from the inside out, felt like I wet myself, but I didn't, um, and it's a pretty weird experience, but um, yeah, I've just got a scab now, so I can walk normally again, which is great. And yeah, today I'm gonna to try and get out on my bike, do a little bit of exercise, see how it feels. Um, fingers crossed. Chain on. weekend which should be nice with my friend Ben hopefully and uh, yeah introduce him to that hopefully I can get him addicted so got my ride done uh, happy with that got nine miles in the bank um, buzzing to be honest I feel so much better with myself um, after after getting out on my bike um, oh, it just frees your mind so much I think the last, uh, or last night I struggled to sleep a little bit, but um, but yeah, I'm in a complete opposite mood right now. So um, so yeah, that's great. Time for like a post uh, ride shake. I only did nine miles, um, but hey, just want to make the healthy habits again and start feeling a bit more normal. So uh, so yeah, let's get the shake in. So it's about um, a week and a half after my results um, and as you can see I'm at Abingdon at the races because uh, I'm actually racing today so I've had good news with my results. Um, fortunately my operation I had to remove like uh, my right testicle um, went well and it apparently removed all of the cancer. My CT scan showed no spread so I'm over the moon with that. and. Um, Oh, mate, I felt like 10 stone lighter when I got that news. Um, so yeah, I'm racing today. My, uh, my scar is fine, so I can ride my bike pretty normally now. I'm about 15 watts down from where I was before the end of uh, last year after I finished my racing and my last training block. But um, yeah, over the moon. Um, so I'm racing today. I'm not gonna be fit enough, but um, it'd be good to like get a bit of efficiency in anyway. Um, so yeah. The um, one thing I want to say is I'm so lucky um, and stuff like that because uh, it didn't spread and uh, yeah, so I'm onto surveillance now. It was like stage one. So in that respect, I'm quite lucky um, in that respect. So yeah, one thing I would say is um, it really has like taught me that 
like live life don't um don't uh, just take take things like uh for granted and stuff like that and make sure you eat healthy i was so lucky with the fact that i'm quite a healthy individual um but testicular cancer um there isn't anything that you can do to really prevent it you either get it or not but four out of ten cancers are preventable so if you're like overweight and you don't eat healthy and you don't exercise and stuff like that just take care of yourself because um hearing them words like you have cancer was probably the worst most vulnerable time of my life i literally felt like a 10 year old um hopeless and helpless um to be able to do anything so you do have a choice to be to lead a healthy lifestyle so don't take your life for granted if you're young and you've got kids like i have um you know don't don't just throw your life away by um by by not eating healthy and stuff like that so yeah i had quite a lot of comfort in the fact that i i lead a healthy lifestyle um because if i was like out of shape and overweight or whatever i probably would have been i had an awful mindset because i wouldn't be confident in my own body um and and how it can do so so yeah i'm very lucky in that respect anyway i'm gonna race today i'm gonna post up the video to the races to this race um in a separate video to this so um so yeah one thing is make sure you, te you, you check your balls because um, if there's a lump or anything, don't leave it unchecked because testicular cancer is really curable. Uh, if you've got a lump on your breasts, go to, the, go to the doctor, get checked out. Don't be scared because all this stuff, um, you can be saved a lot of the time as well, especially with like, testicular cancer. The survival rate is, uh, is, is very good. So, so yeah. Um, and also... Um, my friend Steve, like like I said at the start of the video, he didn't he didn't make it. Um, so if you want to donate to the Royal Marsden, who um, who looked after him throughout the throughout his journey and stuff like that, I'm going to put a link in the description. Um, so yeah, that would be great. So um, so yeah, um, and that's actually you know it's uh, it's heartbreaking because um, he was like me, young, healthy. So it can get anyone. Um, it attacks the it, it, cancer. Doesn't really necessarily pick on certain individuals. Anyone can get it. He was healthy, fit like me, like I've said before. So um, don't take life for granted. Don't take your health for granted. If you can prevent these things, do it by eating healthy and exercising. Um, there's more to looking good than um, than you know. It's deeper than that. You want to be healthy on the inside. So yeah, okay, take care, but guys, and uh, wish me luck today.